Welcome to our tech tutorial. Today, we're tackling a question that many developers encounter when working with GCC on Windows. Our viewer is curious about how to effectively use UBSAN, or the Undefined Behavior Sanitizer, to enhance their code's safety against undefined behavior. They recently updated their GCC to version 5.3.0, hoping to utilize this powerful tool but ran into some roadblocks. Let's dive into their experience and explore how to resolve these issues together. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, I'll be going through your question, answering it and hoping finding that solution that you're looking for. Guys, remember to say just a little bit crazy just like me and work through to that resolution. Now let's continue on. To use Undefined Behavior Sanitizer, or UBSAN, with GCC on Windows 8.1, we first need to ensure that our GCC installation supports it. Let's check the version of GCC you have installed. If your version is 5.3.0 or later, UBSAN should be available. However, you might encounter an error when trying to compile with the UBSAN flag. This is often due to missing libraries. The error indicates that the UBSN library is not found. On Windows, you may need to install additional packages or libraries that are not included by default in your GCC installation. If you are using MinGW, ensure that you have the correct version that includes UBSAN support. You might need to download a different distribution or update your current one. Finally, after ensuring that you have the correct setup, try compiling your code again with the UBSAN flag. If successful, you should see warnings for undefined behavior. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. Unfortunately, you cannot use Undefined Behavior Sanitizer, or UBSAN, with GCC on Windows 8.1. The sanitizer runtime libraries are only supported on Linux, OS X, FreeBSD, and Solaris. And that's it, guys. I hope that video helped find the resolution you're looking for. If it did, please, I'd appreciate it if you could hit subscribe. Until the next time you need more technical help, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.